Do you ever worry about unexpected expenses popping up and leaving you in financial trouble? If your car breaks down, or your fridge suddenly stops working, or you suddenly lose your job, what do you do? Having an emergency fund is the key to financial security, and in this video I will share you how to do it so that you can have peace of mind and avoid financial stress. Hi, it's Dr. Joanna Ray from Sustainable Soul, where we talk about soulful and sustainable living, including financial resilience. In today's video, I will be sharing with you why emergency funds are crucial to personal finance, how to build an emergency fund, and the benefits of having an emergency fund. Financial emergencies can happen to anyone, and so I will show you how to avoid stress, debt, and other financial difficulties. An emergency fund is money set aside in an account for unplanned expenses. It is important to note that it is not for planned expenses such as buying a car or going on vacation. It is specifically for unplanned events such as car repairs, medical bills, or a job loss. A financial emergency can happen at any time to anyone, so it is important to have a, an emergency fund that can help you avoid debt, stress, and other financial difficulties. So now that you know what an emergency fund is, let's go ahead and look at how to build one. The first step to building an emergency fund is determining how much you need to save. Most financial experts recommend having at least 6 to 12 months of expenses in your emergency fund. So that means that if your monthly expenses are $3,000, you need at least $18,000. Now if that sounds like a really daunting figure to you, go ahead and start by building a $1,000 emergency fund and then gradually building it out to 3 months of expenses. Then from there, you can build it out to 6 months of expenses. For some people, having a larger emergency fund may suit their risk tolerance and the phase of life that they are in. As we saw with the recent pandemic, there are times when having a larger emergency fund can definitely come in handy. So depending on your risk tolerance and phase in life, you may want to consider building out your emergency fund to a 12-month emergency fund. In addition, if your expenses change, you may need to revisit your emergency fund amount and build it out to suit your current expenses. Now that you know the amount that you need to save for, you can actually start building your emergency fund. Now there are two ways to go about this. You can either reduce your expenses or you can increase your income. So for example, you can start cooking more at home, you can cancel your subscriptions, and you can also buy secondhand instead of buying new. You can increase your income by taking on a second job or maybe selling items that you no longer need or even negotiating a raise at work. There is no one way to build an emergency fund, but the quicker you can build up that fund, the more prepared you will be in case that you actually need to use it. Also, if you actually use your emergency fund, make sure that you replenish that fund so that you have it available the next time you need it. Now that you know how to build an emergency fund, let's talk about where to keep it. There are several options of where to keep your emergency fund. The most common option is the savings account, where it is safe and easily accessible. However, most savings accounts have low interest rates, which means it may be difficult to keep up with inflation. It is important to consider factors such as accessibility, safety, and interest rates when thinking of where to put your emergency fund. Never put your emergency fund in an investment vehicle that limits the access to your money because you never know when you need to access it. In addition, you can also have a separate savings account or investment account for your emergency fund so that you avoid accidentally using it. I think that by having a separate savings account for my emergency funds, it prevents me from using it unless I have to. Now that you know how to build an emergency fund and where to keep it, let's talk about the benefits of having one. One of the main benefits of having an emergency fund is that peace of mind for unexpected situations that arise in life beyond your normal expenses. Knowing that you have a safety net for an unexpected event can help you sleep better at night, and also reduce stress. Additionally, having an emergency fund can help you avoid debt and other financial difficulties that can take years to recover from and put strain on your emotional well-being and relationships. And finally, enjoy the peace of mind that comes from knowing that you have a safety net 
when you have an unexpected expense beyond your anticipated budget. And if you found this video of value, please check out my next video on the miracle of compound interest so that you can take advantage of compound interest on your way to building financial resilience and financial independence. Thank you so much for watching.